Hey Champs and Champ fans, welcome to the Introduction 2 series, a show where you can learn the basics of the games we play here at Champ Esports. So without further ado, welcome to an introduction to Rocket League. This is Rocket League, a game in which two teams of three cars compete for the best score. Lucky for you, my dear viewer, there's not much to learn before you can jump right into watching a match. At its core, Rocket League is kind of like car soccer. Each team has three cars on it who try to get the large ball into the other team's goal. Some of the fun quirks of this game include driving up walls, using the boost mechanic to speed up or propel yourself into the air, and twisting or flipping your car midair to manipulate the way the ball bounces off of it. Games last five minutes with an overtime if by the end of the game there's a tie in goals. Matches are typically a best two of three competition. And that's really all there is to it. Rocket League is a pretty kinetic game and doesn't have too much visual clutter. With this information, you should be able to keep up with any match you see. So get out there and cheer on your favorite champs.
Welcome back. It's been 45 minutes, and this time we're streaming Rocket League. Yep. Rocket League. <laughs> Rocket this League. This is Rocket League. <laughs> um, so we're excited to show you what we got today. Uh, you well, know, I believe we're when... against Lebanon Valley College today. Ooh. I don't where, know where, where that's located. I, I don't know. I was just told that. I was, I was like, oh, okay, I'll write it now, down. Now, and then, in, in the U.S., we say Lebanon in two different ways, according to people in, in Tennessee. So in, in Tennessee, <laughs> Tennessee, there's a town called Lebanon, but but the residents call it Lebanon. Lebanon? Lebanon. Lebanon. Yeah, real weird. You can't, you can't so pronounce maybe, it. That's, like, that's not the correct way to pronounce that. There's no way it's called Lebanon. There's no Lebanon. correct way to pronounce anything. <laughs> that's my response. Exactly. Um... <laughs> But yeah, Lebanon. that is that is the team. Um, did you have you did you shout out the uh, the extra life events? Earlier? Not during Rocket League. I did during oh, CS, so but hey, Ro run Rocket League time again. R run so, it back next weekend. We have extra life. What is extra life? You might be asking. I was about to it ask is that. an amazing charity event that we run here at Champlain in partnership with UVM. Uh, I believe it's the UVM Children's Hospital. Um, and we have dozens of very awesome prizes for you folks that you can win in raffles or as uh, tournament prizes. Um, There's a 1v1 tournament in Overwatch. Oh, my God. I'm running Malga. Oh, my God. Assuming he's still playable. Assu he won't be because it, it's, it's next weekend, so he won't be playable anymore. Assuming it's default tank health, Roadhog or JQ. But... Doom fist. If you're into Overwatch and you're also into running the ones, we got you. Um, yeah, they're gonna load up rust. Yeah, we've got a bunch of things going on. We got um, we got a fighting game tournament. We got a Splatoon tournament. Uh, we're also getting a special event where our friends over at SNHU oh. are gonna be playing us oh. in, a little, in a little friendly rivalry match. Oh, well, that, um, that would be interesting to watch. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be real fun. Well, I'm assuming that's for Rocket League? Um, I think it's for Overwatch, actually. Ooh. Um, and it looks like we're getting into the we're game. We're already back in, and we're against...
had a really strong start there. Um, you know, we're seeing actually a pretty strong start from both teams. Um, I do think Champlain has kind of got the download down. Um, we know the download. Yeah, the download. Fighting game terms. Oh, uh, um, I was like, well, what, what do you mean by download? Like they're yeah. like thinking, like hmm, it's yes. like adapting. I, I um, I'm gonna predict all of your moves. I'm predicting your next your line You're will. You're gonna try to flip reset. You failed. Your next line will be I scored a goal. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's reading the script. Yeah, the, all of these games are scripted. Yeah, um, we we lose for content and then we come back for wins. That's why all the that, that's why all the games have been so close. We so throw far. for content. The games have all been so close, purely purely for entertainment and entertainment value. No, but in in all honesty, our players are are the best of the best. Oh yeah, no, these guys are we, we play good. Hard. We we game. I read down to Rocket League last week.
But that does put us on match points, though. True. So despite these games being literally settled by a single point, mm -hmm. I feel like LVC has potential to win the next two, potentially three. But if mm. I'm not being biased, the mental game, I'm, I'm going to bring up the mental game. After mm -hmm. losing two matches in a row, and you might you might put a mental uh, blockage by being, ah, we might lose. We, they could be saying it's so Jover. Yeah, well, yeah, once, once they once, could get like two goals and be like, we are so back. Yeah, we're so Borak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, once you.
Chauncey sweep. I'm Chauncey sweep. <laughs> put Chauncey behind the keyboard. Put, put, give, give Chauncey a controller. Yep, yep, Feel, yep. Feel slow. <laughs> now, that was just a close game, though. Yeah, it was. It like, was. Or well, not, not, not the last one. Yeah, the first yeah, two. The first two were pretty close. I think they kind of lost steam. Like, I can't remember. Was there overtime on map one? Yes. Yeah, so I, the first two were so. overtime, and then yeah. Champlain warmed up. <laughs> yeah. It was... Well, pistol was rounds sad. the warm-up. First game was warm-up. Only game two. I can't, I can't okay. believe you lied to me, Jonah. My fault. <laughs> My fault, OG. It, it was close to overtime, though. I can tell you that much. Yeah. Four three, and then three two, and then four one. These were these were close matches. They were, they were, they were they were very exciting because both yeah. both teams were playing really well in the air. Um, I do think Champlain had a better ground game. Oh yeah, definitely. Which is incredibly important. All right, we're getting a message. Ah, so we are going to cut to break, and we In are going to get uh, an interview. <laughs> Out of one of our players. Or coach or manager. We or don't know. Or coach or manager. We don't, we don't know who will we interview. We don't know who. So <laughs> we, will, we will get back to you. And you'll, we'll you'll see get you to in hear, like, their, hear their thoughts. We'll see you in like 30 seconds. Yeah. Rocket League. Welcome to the world of Champlain College Esports. Whether you love to compete, cast, design, promote, or simply just game, there's a home for you here at Champlain. We have a state-of-the-art facility that is free to all students and serves as a hub for all of our competitions, events, watch parties, and more. Love to compete? Then you belong here! Students of all majors make up our competitive teams. Whether you're interested in club play or varsity, we've got you covered. Think you've got what it takes to be a champ? Check us out at champlain.edu slash esports or hit us up on our socials at...
All right, we are back, and we have the local banana with us for the post game interview. Um, first things first, how do you feel about that game? Um, really good. We uh, Lebanon is doing pretty good in our group, so mm -hmm. we preparing for this match. We organized a pretty good scrim mm -hmm. uh, to sort of you know combat that and get ready for that. Um, so yeah, we're very happy. I mean, sweeping is obviously mm -hmm. the best thing that you can you can do out there, and the games were super close. Mm -hmm. uh, so the fact that we swept is surprising to me because I they they were demoing a lot, and I mm -hmm. could tell it was getting in the heads of our players a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I'm very glad that we didn't drop a game because that could shift momentum uh, pretty bad. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we're super happy with how we played. I'm yeah. very proud of the team. So. I I think one thing I noticed is um, the demos in this game were a lot like further upfield mm -hmm. um than previous games i forget which team you were facing where like they would demo you as the ball was in our half um and that would like really mess up rotations i don't remember the team mm -hmm. but yeah this team was extremely aggressive like that's you could see if you're playing that sometimes they would just go past the ball and they would go straight for the defender that's in front mm -hmm. of them in my opinion, it's a very, very lame play, uh, <laughs> lame way to play. And Cole thinks so too. Like whenever he gets mm -hmm. demo, he's like, Dude, "You're so lame." <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, it's it's hard to deal with. I tried to sort of talk my team into things we can do to, mm -hmm. uh, you know, avoid that. But there's only so much you can do, and apparently we did just enough. But I mean, mm -hmm. if they got a few of those demos, like a few more demos to connect, then it could have been pretty bad for us. Mm -hmm. But we wiggled our way through it <laughs> yeah we were better in the end so it's good yeah what what was the communication like um just in terms of like rotations because i know at, at one point um we were a little scrambled in mm -hmm. our own net um and i imagine like that was just a lot of pressure on you guys yeah at some points uh comms got a little bit dry like we wouldn't talk as much because i probably were focusing mm -hmm. uh so whenever we get scored on i just kept telling the team i'm like oh, keep comms up keep mm -hmm. calming you know it's it's very important um and i don't try to give too much rotational advice during the game because mm -hmm. i don't want people to have yeah. too much on their mind and not be able to play their game um so all i said was uh, specifically for the kickoff because mm -hmm. I noticed what they were doing was the second man that was going for kickoff was not going for the ball. He was just going straight for the person who was cheating, mm -hmm. trying to demo him. <laughs> yeah. So I just said, just go slowly, like preserve your boost and then try and flick out of the way. So we get one player out of the game. Mm -hmm. um, so that's pretty much it in terms of like, you know, comms or, or I mean rotations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Were, were there any moments in the game that like really surprised you? Like I know there was like a full on, open net um that i that i believe uh birdie or solar scored on um i think it was it might have been the third game um i don't specifically remember that something that surprised me though is how icy we were we were mm -hmm. very clutch like there is a few games that uh we could have easily lost like i think in both games we were down a goal by mm -hmm. like a lot of by a long time um and we just managed to like tie it up and then clutch it up in overtime with that one game mm -hmm. um with very very good shots like they were you know difficult shots not like mm -hmm. like easy open nets or anything yeah. but they were yeah so i feel like we were very very icy on the field and i like to see that so that's yeah, good i i definitely agree connor actually um he was saying he needed to take the uh, protractors off your monitors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were shooting and everything, like a lot of the goals were top mm -hmm. corner too. Because um, yeah. I see, like, it's pretty hard to see if you're on the opposite side of the field, if it's going in or not. Mm -hmm. And then you see it hit top corner and I'm just like, I, you know, yeah. I get ecstatic. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, let's go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, um, thank you for talking with us today. And um, we really hope to see more games like this in the future. All right. Thank you for having me. Right. And remember, everyone, uh, please attend Extra Life next weekend. Um, I will keep hammering that down in our streams because we really want you guys to participate. And there's really no reason why you shouldn't. It's a fun time. And, you know, you can only win. Absolutely. There's something for everyone there. So exactly. Hope to see you there. Right. See you guys next time. Peace.